tell you something. I don't care about being your stupid prom queen. I'm an undercover reporter for the Chicago Sun-Times, and I've been blowing my brains out trying to impress you people. Let me tell you something, Gibby, Kirsten, Kristen. You'll spend the rest of your lives trying to figure out how to keep other people down because it makes you feel more important. Well, why her? Let me tell you something about this girl. She's unbelievable. She's sweet and sincere, and unlike the rest of you, there's not a shallow bone in her body. She's real. But you, you were only my friends after my brother Rob posed as a student and told you to like me. Listen to me, all of you people. There's a big world out there, bigger than prom, bigger than high school, and it's not going to be served to you on a silver platter. You're going to have to find a way to make yourself in this world. You're going to have to create a life. It's not going to matter if you were the prom queen, the quarterback of the football team, or the biggest nerd in school. Wake up! Find out who you are and try not to be afraid of it. Excuse me. Walk away. Walk out. Always make it clean. Ground your feet, honey. It's better to give them a little wider stance. More like Supergirl. Put your hands on your hips. Yeah. Just plant yourself. You hit my boundary, you pissed me off, stop it. Rolling and action. Let me tell you something. It's okay, okay. We'll start right again. Yeah, I'm just going to let it roll. Yeah, all right. And action. Let me tell you something. I don't care about being your stupid prom queen. I'm an undercover reporter for the Chicago Sun Times, and I've been beating my brains out trying to impress you people. Let me tell you something, Gibby, Kirsten, Kristen. You'll spend the rest of your lives trying to figure out how to put other people down just because it makes you feel better about yourselves. Well, why her? Let me tell you something about this girl. She's unbelievable. I was new here and she befriended me, no questions asked. She's sweet and sincere, and unlike the rest of you, there's not a shallow bone in her body. She's real. But you, you were only my friends after my brother Rob posed as a student and told you to like me. Listen to me. All of you people, there's a big world out there, bigger than prom, bigger than high school, and it's not going to be hated to you on a silver platter. You're going to have to find a way to make yourself in the world. You're going to have to create a life. It's not going to matter if you are the prom queen, the quarterback of the football team, or the biggest nerd in school. Wake up! Find out who you are and try not to be afraid of it. Excuse me. Let me tell you something. I don't care about being your stupid prom queen. I'm an undercover reporter for the Chicago Sun-Times, and I've been beating my brains out trying to impress you people. Let me tell you something, Gibby, Kirsten, Kristen. You'll spend the rest of your lives trying to figure out how to put other people down just because it makes you feel more important. Well, why her? Let me tell you something about this girl. She's unbelievable. I was new here, and she befriended me, no questions asked. She's sweet and sincere, and unlike the rest of you, there's not a shallow bone in her body. She's real. But you, you were only my friends after my brother Rob posed as a student and told you to like me. Listen to me, all of you people. There's a big world out there, bigger than prom, bigger than high school, and it's not going to be handed to you on a silver platter. You're going to have to find a way to make yourself in the world. You're going to have to create a life. It's not going to matter if you were the prom queen or the quarterback of the football team or the biggest nerd in school. Wake up. Find out who you are and try not to be afraid of it. Excuse me. I seem really, really irritated with them. <laughs> something? Let me guess. After all the money you spent on me tonight, oh, don't no, at least stop it. you... You can relax now. I think you've made all the points you obviously wanted to make tonight. Meeting. Well, you apparently wanted to convince me how tough you are. Congratulations, I'm convinced. You want me to feel intimidated? You got it, I am. You want me to make sure I kept my distance? 
well, no problem there. But I'm just curious. Either you have me confused with someone whose feelings can't possibly be hurt, or making people feel self-conscious and ridiculous as some kind of hobby of yours. So, which is it? You overlooked a third possibility. Maybe I'm just not interested in you and I didn't want to encourage you. Oh, come on. <laughs> yeah, of course. You're right. I do tend to fall in love with every woman who's even remotely pleasant to me. And if she actually lets me hold the door open for her and keeps up right out the conversation, I lose all control. All right, James. I'm sorry. I really am. I should never have gone through this in the first place. And when I said I wasn't interested, I didn't mean in you specifically. I meant relationships in general. I I've been hurt, okay? More than once. Come and on I now. So have I. So has everyone. I'm sure we could sit around and spend hours, you know, trying to top each other's great emotional tragedies. But for what? I don't have any more patience for that than I have for, I can't behave like a responsible adult because I didn't get along with my parents when I was three. Who needs it? You fall down, it hurts, you pick yourself up, and you go on. But at least you know you felt something. At least you know you're alive. Anyway, I think I should go now. I'm sorry this didn't work out. If you ever smile, I'd probably be very attracted to you. See? I was right. Good night now. If you change your mind, I'm listed. wanted to make tonight. Meaning? Well, apparently you wanted to convince me how tough you are. Congratulations. I'm convinced. Want me to feel intimidated? You got it. I am. You wanted to make sure I kept my distance. No problem there. I'm just curious. Either you have me confused with someone whose feelings can't possibly be hurt, or making people feel self-conscious and ridiculous some kind of hobby of yours. So which is it? You overlooked a third possibility. Maybe I'm just not interested in you and I didn't want to encourage you. <laughs> yeah, you're right. I do tend to fall in love with every woman who's even remotely pleasant to me. And if she actually lets me hold the door open for her and keep up, keeps up around the conversation, I lose all control. All right, James. I'm sorry. Okay, I really am. I, I should never have gone through this in the first place. And, you know, when I said that I wasn't interested. I didn't mean in you specifically. I meant relationships in general. I've been hurt more than once and- Come on now, so have I, so has everyone. I'm sure we could sit around for hours trying to top each other's great emotional tragedies. But for what? I don't have any more patience for that that I have for, I can't just, you know, I can't behave like a responsible adult because I didn't get along with my parents when I was three. Who needs it? You fall down, it hurts. Pick yourself up and you go on. But at least you know you felt something. At least you know you're alive. Anyway, I think I should go now. I'm sorry this didn't work out. If you ever smiled, I'd probably be very attracted to you. See? That's right. Good night now. If you change your mind, I'm listed. <laughs> <laughs> 